In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, as we conclude the first week of Lent, some of us might be thinking that this isn't so bad. I think I can do this for another five weeks. Some of us might be thinking, this is really hard. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it for another five weeks. And for this, Mother Church assigns today's gospel passage, in which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says, I am the vine. Abide in me and I in you, and you will bear much fruit. The Father is the vine dresser who trims and prunes and makes the vines neat and orderly so that they grow in the appropriate way. Because if a vine does not grow appropriately, it can become a stranglehold on whatever it is trying to decorate or produce fruit for, for grapes and other good things. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, when we cut off a branch from the heart of the vine, it cannot last, it cannot survive, because it is not getting sustenance. And very quickly, it will dry up, wither, and die, and is cast into the fire. So it is if we cut ourselves off from Christ and think that we can do this on our own, by our own strength and our own willpower, we can do the fast, we can get through this. The reality is, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, we can't. Whether we find it easy right now or difficult right now, the truth of the matter is, is that Christ himself is the one that gives us strength to go forward. It is for this reason that Christ says in today's gospel passage, apart from me, you can do nothing. In other words, all of our gains are because Christ our God, whether we know it or not, is pushing us from behind, holding us up, supporting us in ways that we're not even aware. He is the reason we are able to succeed. And as we are struggling, let us not think to ourselves, I need to try harder, I need to focus harder. That is true, we do need to try, our effort matters. But what we really need to do is ask for help. Christ our God, the true vine, please give me sustenance, give me strength, propel me forward through the great and holy fast so that I can draw closer to you at your resurrection, full of vigor, full of strength, full of good fruits. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.